Hey everybody and welcome back to the Creation Station. Uh, let me start right in. This is a bassoon, a solo bassoon that I found from the Master Solo Woodwinds bundle. Um, and I thought it had a beautiful basic sound and this is the way it sounds from the get-go, uh, the way it comes out of the package, so to speak. This is the preset, factory preset. This is a legato, and that means that the hand from note to note is fairly realistic. It's a little long, but it's just the tone of it's lovely. But I thought to myself, you know, I know bassoon players, and I have stood right next to them in orchestral recordings, and I know they can have much more growl, like, Bwah. you know, it is expressive. It's an expressive instrument if played by an expressive player. So I decided to share a little secret here with you, a little secret sauce. First of all, I choose slightly different mic positions, and I used one of the convolution reverbs inside. But anyways, let me play it for you. So now you see there's a lot more coming through. There's more expressiveness, more bite, more mid-range. Uh, and this was done fairly simply. Let me just run it by you. Okay, let's go to the options. The first thing I did, I went into the insert effects, and you can see that there's an equalizer boosting a certain frequency band, in this case 2.6 kilohertz, at a very, nar a very narrow bandwidth, and you have to keep it narrow because you only want that one frequency to be enhanced. And as you see, this is my volume pedal moving it up or down. So here is what this does. Look. Right where the bassoon, which is a fairly dull instrument, has its most um, expressive potential in the higher mids. That's usually where also where harsh frequencies sit. But this one, you can boost them, you know, with quite a bit, because you see this is, I can boosting up to 12 decibels here or more. Of course, it has to be done in a natural way. So as you can, you can see, I do it with a classical breath. So if my pedal were to go, if you could see it, it would go like bah, 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 always after the attack of the note and then released before the new note starts. So I call it the classical breath, if you will. Um, the other thing is I did, instead of the reverb that they offer, I chose the concert hall, and this is found here in the insert effects. I chose convolution and then under presets. Take a quick look. That's where we went to real rooms and uh, Concert Hall A is what I chose, and I shortened the living daylights out of it, so I took it down to 58% of its original value, uh, low-passed it at 1.2 kilohertz, because I only want that warm afterglow. Nothing harsh, supposed to... You know, this could even be shorter, or you could choose a shorter room. This is very wide. And depending on how far back you want to push the bassoon in perception, then you can just work with shorter rooms or even use two convolutions. But anyways, this is, I just also reduced the uh, the wet amount by minus 4.3. I could even go further down. Minus five and a half might be okay. So here we go. Look. It's got some steroids now, doesn't it? It's very different than the factory patch. You know, it's only an EQ and a slightly different reverb choice. And that's doable with, within the tools inside of contact. So there's nothing external added to it. This is the way it now comes out of contact. It uses contact's own resources. So I, and I saved the whole thing. And now I can find it 
in my library this way. Hope this was uh, uh, inspiring to you. I think that the master solo woodwinds are quite beautiful. You know what? Well, before I end, let me just give you just a little quick um, inkling here as to how to one of the other instruments sounds to piccolo, I thought, which was lovely. And I have not done much editing on that as all at all. So this is a patch, but I thought it was promising. Listen to this. The modulation wheel. You can see the expression comes in with the modulation wheel. I wish we could see the inst. Um, hmm. I cannot see. Let me see if we can uh, keyboard. Here we go. That's now you can see what I'm doing. Look over here at the the modulation wheel. These red keys here, as you might have guessed, are the character switch buttons. Uh, in which you s can select a staccato, non vibrato, and so forth. But now take a look again. I, you really can't complain about that. That's with the onboard reverb looking at a large diaphragm, uh, la <laughs> large diaphragm condenser. Um, none of the spot rhythm and just m a large amount of the room position. That was my personal choice here. Uh, so that master um, uh, solo woodwinds bundle packs a punch. Um, and the oboe, I have to do some work. I have to tune with several notes on it. But also, all of these things that uh, the Master B Solo Woodwinds Bundle has have a uh, beautiful expressiveness to it, and even sometimes maximum expressiveness, like moltissimo vibrato, and so forth. Um, so that's uh, all for today. Stay tuned for the next update. Um, that's it. Stefan Obroff signing out from the Creation Station. Stay creative and have and healthy. And take care. See you soon.